Hey guys, this is the Robrovsky Guy, and this is going to be my first video on this channel. Basically, what this channel is going to be mainly focused on is robos and pretty much everything robos that there is. Uh, I'm going to be talking about treats, we're going to be talking about diets, we're going to be talking about toys, and I'll even show some of my own footage of my own robos. So basically, if you like robos, if you like hamsters in general, or if you have one yourself, make sure to subscribe if you like the video, and I'll be sure to pump out a bunch of other videos as well. So this video is going to basically be talking about a Robrovsky diet. So it's very important that your robos have a diet that's very strong and nutritious. And if you're having trouble with getting a you know a good balance of everything, this video will definitely help you out. So first, let's start off with seed mixes. Seed mixes are pretty much one of the more important pieces of the diet because it's going to be offered pretty much the most. So I'm going to be looking at some commercial branded seed mixes first, and I'll show you my opinions on both of them. So first off, we're going to be looking at Hazel Hamster. Hazel Hamster is pretty much one of the more regarded seed mixes out there. It's pretty much you know one of the more nutritious. It's got really good uh, nutrition facts out here, and I'll show you those in a second. But it's got a bunch of different things in here. We got corn, we got hay, you know, we got uh, lab blocks in here. We've got a bunch of other stuff that are really nutritious to your hamster. This is pretty much going to be one of the top of the line uh, hamster mixes out there. So. Uh, you can pretty much pick up one of these at PetSmart for about $9.99 in the U.S. And it's a two-pound bag, so it's definitely going to last you a while. And if you feel about two to one, one to two uh, tablespoons per day, it should be uh, really good for about a month and a half or so. Um, so we'll look at some of the nutrition facts now. So here's the analysis for the hazel hamster seed mix. We got about 18% minimum of protein, which is really good because you want to have somewhere between 15 to 20% protein. And that's going to be very vital for your hamster because it's pretty much one of the most important things that it's going to need out of a seed mix. Uh, fat, it's got minimum 5%, which is really good. You don't want to really go over 5% because it could be uh, pretty fattening to your hamster, especially if it has a lot of sunflower seeds and corn in there. So you really want to stay below 5% on the fat. Fiber, 9% which is a really good amount so you're definitely going to want to look for something that's above seven to eight percent on the fiber and moisture is pretty much just the moisture it's uh, moisture levels that are inside the seed mix so all in all this is pretty much one of the better top of the line hamster mixes so if you're looking for a really good mix for your hamster or your robos definitely take a look at hazel hamster because it's really one of the best out there so now we're going to be looking at another hamster mix called uh, KT Fiesta Max. And basically, before I start reviewing KT Fiesta Max, I'm going to say a quick note out there. And for all of you who don't know, KT is pretty much one of the more regarded uh hamster uh, brands out there and it's got a bunch of stuff for small animals and really I want to say that you might want to stay away from them for a couple reasons mainly because it's really low quality food in itself it's got a lot of fattening things in it it's nowhere near nutritious as hazel hamster is or some other brands so you're definitely going to want to stay away from uh, KT products I have one right here that I had for a long time now and ever since I switched over uh, anything like this you pretty much want to avoid because as you can see it's got a lot of sunflower seeds in there it's got a lot of corn it's got a lot of different fattening things that can be pretty much potentially dangerous uh, to your hamster and it's a four and a half pound bag which will run you about ten dollars so beware even though the price is pretty good do not go into KT's uh, line of food because it could be potentially dangerous for your hamster so now we're gonna look at lab locks and basically the way I do it uh, I'll have a seed mix out basically every other day, and then the other day I'll have lab blocks out for them, for my robos. So I'm going to look at a couple different uh, uh, lab blocks here that you guys can choose from. Two um, are very well regarded in the hamster community, so you're going to want to look at either of these two uh, overall for lab blocks. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Missouri. Missouri is pretty much one of the more uh, nutritional uh, lab blocks out there. Again, you may want to stay away from something like KT Forda Diet because they can be very fattening and they've got a lot of the ingredients in there that you may not really enjoy to see so uh, definitely if you're looking for a really good one Missouri can be a good one this one's gonna cost you about five dollars I found this one at a local feed store so you may have trouble finding this one where you live but this is really one of the better uh, ones out there we'll take a good uh, really quick look at the analysis sheet we got 22% protein at a minimum so that's really good because you want something between 20 to 25% on the lab blocks fat is about 6.5% which 
isn't too bad, but really that fat is coming from a lot of the corn mix that it has inside of these pellets. So if you have a uh, robo or a dwarf or actually a, uh, a hamster that's prone to diabetes, you may not want to use this because of the high corn uh, amounts in here. It's got really good fiber, 5% 5 fiber, and a lot of vitamin E in it as well. So definitely, if you're looking for some good lab blocks for a variation of the diet, definitely look for Missouri. So another option is Oxbow Healthy Handfuls by Oxbow. So basically, uh, this hamster mix is also really well regarded as a good uh, pellet uh, substitute. So uh, this one's got little kind of ring-shaped things. Uh, I haven't actually used this one yet. I just picked this up the other day, so I'll see how my hamsters are going to enjoy this one. This also has really good... Uh, diet facts here. It's got about 15% protein, which is slightly lower than the uh, protein that Missouri has, about 22%. So it is a little bit lower on the protein side, but definitely wouldn't be a big deal as well. And it's also got lower fat, which could you know also be very good as well. It's got a bunch of different vitamins in here um, and other really great stuff for your hamster for a, uh, a every other day diet. So if you're looking for another one, uh, another lab block type of thing, you may uh, want to look at Oxbow Healthy Handfuls. So the next thing I want to talk about is veggies. So pretty much you want to have veggies every other night to every two nights. Veggies can be really important for your robos because obviously they don't want to get overweight. So you want to have a really good variety of veggies. I use just cauliflower and broccoli. Sometimes I'll put in some other things like bok choy, um, even some Brussels sprouts and the, that they'll always uh, also enjoy. So really if you want to just start off with giving some veggies, you can start giving them some broccoli or some cauliflower. Those will be great. And you can also experiment with other things as well. A lot of vegetables are safe. You don't want to take a look at lettuce though. Lettuce, uh, iceberg lettuce, any type of lettuce is pretty much a no-no for any type of hamster because it can uh, be really uh, high in moisture as well. So make sure you want to stick to broccoli, cauliflower, no peppers, but you really want to look at some, some core uh, veggies that are available. You can find this pretty much anywhere as well for really low prices. So the next thing I want to talk about is some treats. So basically treats can be really an important piece of the diet and you don't want to handle too many, you don't want to give out really a lot of them because of course they are really fattening and most of them can cause diabetes uh, to your uh, hamster. But uh, so I'll look at a couple of healthier choices out there. So the first one I'm going to look at is KT's Healthy Toppings Papaya Treats. Uh, these are also going to want to be uh, fed sparingly. You may want to give about one to two of these little pieces every other day. Uh, really no more than that because they can, they obviously have natural sugar in them as well. So you don't want to give these too often. They're also a really good uh, way to get your hamster to be a little bit more tame. Really good for taming sessions as well. So if you have a new hamster, these could be also very good and very useful as well. So if you're looking for a new treat, these are really good. It costs you about $3 at PetSmart, also $3 at Petco if you live in the U.S. So definitely a good treat. Another treat you want to look at are spray millets. Basically, spray millets are a really important piece of the diet. And these can't really be classified as treats because, of course, even millets are available inside the seed mixes. But this is a really great piece of treat that you can give uh, to any hamster really because it's got really good uh, protein. It's got a lot of really good stuff in there for a tree and it's got no sugar but it does have a little bit of fat which obviously isn't you know too big of a deal but uh, sugar is not existent in here. Uh, you can find this in the bird aisle uh, in pretty much any pet store uh, about three dollars for this whole bag so you may want to give about one to two of these pieces every other day just like the uh, fruit. Obviously if you have a uh, diabetes put on hamster you may want to avoid fruit at all so make sure to note that as well um, but robos aren't prone to diabetes so that's you know you, you can kind of be a little bit more lenient on this so this will cost you about three dollars at your local pet store so that's pretty much about it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you have any questions make sure to leave a comment down below I'll be sure to help you out if you need it and uh, that's about it thanks for watching and subscribe if you enjoy the video thanks